Hi, this is John C. Murphy for No Part Dark, and this video is a continuation of a tutorial on drawing a cartoon bird using the Inkspace program. So next we need to draw the beak. Using the Shift F6 Bezier tool, create a roughly triangular outline, then come down to the bottom and click to select a red fill color, and Shift click to select a somewhat darker shade for the stroke. Apply a linear gradient to the fill, and add an extra color stop in order to create a dark to light to dark gradient, which gives the beak a more 3D look. To fix up the shape, switch to the F2 node editing tool, control click on the nodes until they change to the diamond shape, which allows you to edit the control handles independently. Once the shape looks right, position it on the face, then select everything, and scale it down to make room for the rest of the body. Let's just reposition that beak a little lower on the face. To do the body, create a new layer, then unlock the head layer and select the head. Instead of duplicating the head though, use Ctrl C to copy it, and then move to the body layer and use Ctrl V to paste the copy there. Use the F1 selection tool to resize and reshape the body. Oops, it looks like the body is obscuring the bird's sideburns. So use the green arrows to move the body layer to the bottom of the layer stack. Create a new layer for the wings and use the same procedure we used to create the hair to make the wings. Leave the first triangle at a yellow color and use the F2 node editor tool and shift and drag to bring out the bezier handles and use them to distort the triangle's shape. Make copies of the first triangle, fill them with the orange gradient. Select all three wing parts and use Ctrl G to group them, then move them into position. Uh-oh, now it looks like we need to move the wings layer down to below the body layer. Use the F1 tool to rotate and position the wing properly, then use Ctrl D to duplicate the wing and move that wing to the other side. Next we need to do the feet. So create a new layer, then grab the rectangle tool, use a dark brown fill color, and then use a series of rectangles to fashion the leg. Use the F1 tool to rotate and reposition them into place. Notice how in vector drawing you use shapes to form things, not lines like you do in traditional drawing? Once everything is in place, select all the parts, come up to path, and use the union operation to join them into a single path. Reposition the leg, then make a copy for the other side. Nice. At this point, we can save the bird in its own file, and then create a new document for the background. I'll choose an A4 landscape size, Rename this layer to Sky, and make sure the Snap to Page Border thing is turned on. So the background layer consists of a blue sky with some clouds in it. So use the F4 Rectangle tool to carefully fill the page with a rectangular shape. Hit 5 to fit the page to the window space. Now this is obviously the wrong color, so let's change the fill to a blue color. Add a layer for the clouds, and actually let's do the telephone wire first. So create a layer for that. Grab the Shift F6 Bezier Pen tool. Click and drag to make points with bezier handles. Hit enter to stop drawing. Pick a color down here for the stroke. Oops, that's the fill. It's shift click for the stroke. Then on the stroke style panel, increase the stroke width somewhat. Then use the F2 node editor tool to tweak the shape of the line. Oops, lost that handle, so shift click to drag out a new one. There we go. Now we can do the clouds. While we could draw the outline of the clouds with the bezier pen tool, this is not the most efficient approach. Dealing with bezier handles is always difficult, and more importantly, vector drawing really shouldn't be approached this way. That is, by creating the outline of a shape and then filling it with color. Instead, the outline should emerge from the combination of colored shapes that you place on the page. In this case, if we switch to the F5 circle tool, turn off the stroke by shift-clicking on the red X, and set the fill color to white, we should be able to fashion a cloud outline from a series of circles and ellipses. I'll use a rectangle to fill in the space at the bottom, fill in this area here, then click and drag with the F1 selection tool to select everything on the layer, then use Path Union to combine them into a single path. Fill it with a gradient. I guess a radial gradient will do for this. We'll go from white to blue, reposition it, and now we have to trim the edges to the border of the page. So take the rectangle tool and turn off both the stroke and the fill, then make an invisible rectangle that matches the size of the page exactly. Leave it selected, and shift-click to add the cloud shape to the selection. 
then use path intersection to trim it down to size. That is so cool. Anyway, now we can create a new layer for the birds. Hit 5 to fill the page with the drawing, then use File, Import to bring in that birdie we created earlier. Use the F1 selection tool to resize and position it. There we go. And I also have another drawing that I did earlier, which I want to bring in and add to the scene. Hmm, he actually looks better than the one we just did. And there we go. Isn't that sweet? Two birdies sitting on a wire. And this concludes this tutorial. Thank you.